What are the US and Ruby elements used for and how do they work? The unarticulated annotation element, or U element for short, is used to represent inline text that has non-textual annotation applied. Here's an example of using the U element to highlight various spelling errors. In the example, the words incorrect, spelling, and issues are misspelled. Here is an example of what this element looks like rendered on the page. The default styling for the U element is a black underline underneath the text. In HTML4, the U element was used for styling purposes, but in HTML5, the U element should only be used to indicate that text has non-textual annotation applied. If you want to style a piece of text with an underline, then you should use CSS instead of HTML. The strike through element, or S element for short, should be used to represent when text is no longer accurate or relevant. Here's an example of using the S element to show the cancellation of an activity. In this example, the first sentence is crossed out because the hike has been cancelled due to weather reasons. This is what the example looks like rendered on the page. The S element should never be used to just show changes to a document. More appropriate elements in that case would be the delete text element and the insert text element. The Ruby element represents small text shown above or below the main text. It is typically used to show the pronunciation of East Asian characters. Here is the Ruby element example from the MDN web docs page. The RP element or Ruby fallback parentheses element is used as a fallback for browsers lacking support for displaying Ruby annotations. The RT element or Ruby text element is used to indicate text for the Ruby annotation. This text is usually used for pronunciation or translation details in East Asian typography. While the Ruby element can be used for other types of annotations, the most common use case is for East Asian typography.